that is not Vaughn, Ontario. That's the skyline of downtown Toronto. We are at BMO Field tonight. Toronto FC2 taking on the Charlotte Independents. One touch pass was looking for spies. And instead, comes to Johnson. But it's intercepted, and Endo plays over the top for Hamilton. He's on side. Hamilton with some space. Hamilton not able to get a shot away. Ball is still loose. Hamilton still looking for a shot. Freeze up, and it's Daniels who puts it over the goal. And Sean Hundle will be entering the match at the next opportunity. It's a tough one for Sean Hundle because he scored the winner on the weekend. I'm sure he will want it to play, and it's tough for Jason Benton. There's Hamilton, finds the seam. Hamilton's in, and he puts it over the goal. Could have gone over there. There was a touch from Bilal Duckett, just trying to pull him back. Great change of pace from Jordan Hamilton. Frazier. Endo has Hamilton and Hundle. And Hundle couldn't convert. What a ball from Sebasa Endo. Ross is the player in possession that he really dictates things from midfield, the tempo and, and how Charlotte are going to play. Daniels steps up to intercept, has Hundle on his right, will carry forward. Daniels, his fans on the shot. Here's Endo. Hamilton, and it's in! Jordan Hamilton at last breaks through, and Toronto is on top. Oh, we see the kit man, Frankie, runs over to him. Great play from Aiden Daniels. He steps on Ross, who, who started the half really well. Aiden Daniels tries to go by himself, just whiffs on it a little bit. Ross is able to get back. Comes to Endo, Endo has a composure to pick out Hamilton. Great first touch to set himself. Comes from the near side, Donnie Smith. Once they get into the final third, it's just been a little bit too predictable from Charlotte. Johnson trying to cross in, and it's gone in. It took a deflection off of Mark Pace. It may have been deflected by a Charlotte player before that, but it looked like Pace had an opportunity to grab it, could not secure it, and Charlotte has drawn level. Could understand the uh, desire to be aggressive because if McCreary had been able to win that cleanly, acres of space and a good opportunity. Oh, it's, a, it's a wonderful tackle from McCreary. Great turn there from Sean Hundle, by the Sean way. Sean Hundle able to turn past the defender, and he's got some space to work with. Hundle in. Hundle! Great save by Mizell. Mizell does really well there, and so does Bilal Duckett to just take away Jordan Hamilton. He takes the worst of, of the two, really. Hundle unable to receive that pass. Jordan Hamilton intercepts. Hamilton trying to plow his way through. He's dispossessed. Referee says play on. Henry Kalum pushes forward for Jaime Siaj. Siaj with an opportunity. He's around done and he's put it in. Jaime Siaj puts Charlotte on top, down a man. Hamilton, that pass looking for Morgan. It does get there. Didn't look like it was going to. Strato slid to try and intercept it, and he missed it. Played in for Hamilton. Hamilton, and he's tied it! Jordan Hamilton, second of the night! Into an equalizer for Toronto! In the 92nd minute! Huge goal from TFC2. Wonderful diagonal ball from Liam Frazier. Almost a little bit like Michael Bradley. McCreary's offside is good from line to the lines woman not to put her flag up. Great first touch from Jordan Hamilton. And will Toronto get one last opportunity? There's Malik Johnson. Johnson dispossessed, and that'll be it. There's a full-time whistle. It's a 2-2 draw and Charlotte has the three points stolen from them 
on a 92nd minute goal from Jordan Hamilton. They do extend the unbeaten streak to 12 games matching their franchise high which was set in 2015 so they will have an opportunity to set that mark on Saturday in Ottawa 